I think the key was when I was working at a startup downtown, working at other startups, which is a great learning experience. I got to make more impact, but it was very demanding. I was starting to develop or understand that my identity was not just the startup I worked at or the business I ran. There's other things that were important to me. And I just started to get curious about how do I do the things I want when I want. A friend of mine who worked at that same startup, he was always finding all these interesting people. And he was my go-to guy for finding these things. His name was Alfred. And I think he had um, sent me something about Mr. Money Mustache. I don't think he even read it, though. I think he just like, you might be interested based on what you're saying. I read it. I was like, wow, this is legit. It wasn't like some made up thing. This guy actually did it. The big thing Mr. Money Mustache said was delayed gratification. If you delay gratification by keeping your costs low, invest, you can gain more control of your time. Maybe not all of it, but slowly you can capture more and more of it. The five movement is much more popular now. But back then it wasn't. That was almost 10 years ago. I think I think that's what sparked it. So thank you, Alfred. Thank you, Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> Reaping the benefits. What is the FIRE movement? You mentioned it a lot in your previous podcast episodes, and it's clearly very important to you. Maybe your guests would like to learn a bit about that. FIRE basically stands for Financially Independent Retire Early. It doesn't mean like, oh, you're like rich. It's like when people lose weight, there's all these d- different semantics of how to lose weight. But the basic equation is, You lose weight by burning more calories than you eat or consume. It's the same thing for fire or owning your time. Just like with calories out and in, it's basically money in and money out. You could make half a million dollars a year, but if you're spending 600,000, you're still worse off than somebody making 40,000 and saving 20,000. The idea was try to get your spend down as much as possible. If you have two cars, get down to one. Cut down on consumption, like buying clothes or just buying stuff that... It's not really valuable. So just putting these rules in place to cut down consumption. And on the other side, try to increase your income over time slowly. Uh, I think the expense thing is the big focus for FIRE, but like there's other movements in FIRE, like Fat FIRE, that focus on the income part. But for me, it was really the expense part where it really made me like look at like, wow, why am I spending st- all this? Why am I spending all this money on this stuff? By doing that, I became healthier, spent less, things like that. That's why FIRE is important. It's just really about ownership of time. You don't have to own all of it, but maybe it's you work a remote job, maybe working part-time hours or working multiple jobs. It's just being creative in how you made income so that you didn't waste time doing things you didn't want to do. What would you say were the biggest changes you implemented when you learned about fire? We went down to one car. So you got the car. I just decided to take transit or Uber, try to do more of my stuff remote. By doing that, it actually made me more active because I didn't have the car and I would walk to the bus stop or just walk to more places because I was like, oh, it's a short distance. And also by doing stuff more at home versus in the office, I would eat less junk food because when you're in the office, you want to go out and get some good lunch or just spend more money than you need to. Versus at home, I can kind of control what I eat. I could sleep better, refocusing on health, cutting down with one car and just learning more how to do more with what you have. I think most people get caught up with, oh, that's not possible. You need more of this or more of that. I think the fundamental idea is what can you do with what you have and then slowly go from there. 